G'day, my name is Craig and I'm from Bedroom Air Conditioning and Refrigeration and today I want to tell you about a new little device called the FridgeBot. The FridgeBot gives us the ability to connect your refrigeration unit to the internet. That allows us to access all the refrigeration controller settings, be it defrost settings or fan settings or various other controller settings and allows us to alter and change these settings from a remote location without having to come down to site. The FridgeBot also has the ability to create daily reports and email them out to a nominated email address where we can capture the data and save it for um, various food safe requirements. This is the FridgeBot page. These are a number of the cold rooms and freezer rooms that we currently look after for various clients on the Sunshine Coast. Let's have a look at one of our rental units here. It's a six meter long freezer. Um, so here we can see the room is cutting in and cutting out as it should. It's got a minus 20 degree set point, so it runs down till it gets to minus 20 degrees. It's got a four degree differential. So when it gets up to minus 16, it cuts back in again. Here we can see we've got a nice smooth sort of um, sawtooth in the refrigeration um, temperature display. Here we're zooming out a little bit to look at it um, from a distance and we can see how the machine has been performing over the last couple of hours. The graph down the left hand side indicates the temperature of the room and um, when we select this current draw device setting over here, this current scale appears on the right hand side of the screen. So here we can see um, a nice smooth sawtooth sort of action as it goes, um, as it's doing its job through the day and um, that's performing as it should. This sudden uh, peak in temperature over here, this indicates the machine has gone through a defrost and straight after the defrost you can see the temperature is pulled straight back down until it's reached its target of um, minus, minus 20 degrees. So let's have a look at the current draw. Here we can see when the when the room is running, it's drawing between 7 and 7.5 amps. And then once the room hits its desired set point, we can see the current draw drops down to around the 2.8 to 3.2 amp mark. Now, why does it still draw current when it's down to when it's reached its desired temperature set point? That's because the evaporator fans inside the room continue to run, the drain heater consumes power, the um, lights in the little rental freezer room. Um, we've got implosion port heaters and door frame heaters, so you've already got a little bit of uh, additional current draw over there. The room warms up to the minus 16 mark and the compressor fires back up and away we go again. Probe 2 allows us to look at the temperature of the refrigerant inside the refrigerator blower coil. So um, we're able to monitor the refrigeration unit itself as well as monitoring the um, room temperature. Probe number three has been hooked up to the liquid line which is on the condensing unit and in this case we're using the same controller to cycle the condenser fan and there we can see the liquid line temperature increase, the fan comes on, the condenser fan reaches its desired temperature set point and that cycles off. The FridgeBot software allows us to control many other parameters on the room. So we can see over here, we've got the, um, the set point, the differential, and all the other factors that we can alter and change and correct in order for us to get the most efficient operation out of a unit. So in this case, this is a six meter long freezer. It's 2.5 meters wide, it's 2.5 meters tall. And generally speaking, through the day, it seldom goes above 7.5 amps. This freezer is equivalent size of a 20 foot shipping container. A 20 foot shipping container in its standard form will pull between 14 to 16 amps running during the day. So you can see by the fine tuning and the use of the correct refrigeration machinery, we've been able to almost halve the electrical usage as compared to a shipping container. We've also got the ability to put the machine into a defrost from remote, which is really helpful, um, especially when the customer has called up and said there's a little bit of an ice buildup. We can um, see what is going on there without having to send a man to site. Um, the FridgeBot has also got the ability to send us an email 
or send us a text message to notify us if the temperature has gone above a certain set point for the extended period of time before it um, sends out an email notification. Once the email notification comes through, it's up to the client whether they want to have a look at the problem themselves or if they want to get Budramera involved to sort out the problem. One of the greatest advantages with FridgeBot is it allows you to rule out the stock loss issue by losing a cold room or a freezer room after hours. It's really helpful if we notice the fridge starts running out of its parameters. We can investigate the fault, find out what's going on and rectify it before we've had any after hour call outs or breakdowns or stock losses. If you are interested in the FridgeBot device and would like to find out more about it, please hop online and look us up at budramare.com.au. We'd be more than happy to come down to site and check it out.